Hello, hello, hello again, my beautiful Sagittarian people, and welcome to another episode of Tea and Tarot with Tanya. This is your bi-weekly um, reading for August 16th through August 31st. I don't own any rights to the music playing in the background. This is a general read, so it may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does and leave what doesn't. Also, the roles are interchangeable. And just because um, this reading is dated for August 16th through 31st, whenever you get this, it's for you, okay? It's, it's still a timeless read. It's just so that I can keep up with what I'm posting, you guys, okay? Um, thank you guys for the likes, subscribes, the comments, and all the shares you guys have been giving me. Thank you for the donations and also for bookings of the personal reads. Um, you guys have been really great. If you're new to the channel, thank you for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Um, also, if, if you want a personal read or you would like to offer a donation to the channel, all the information is down below in the description box, okay? So, Sagittarius, let's get into this, okay? So, Spirit, what is the energy for Sagittarius and love for August 16th through the 31st? Three more for Spirit. The energy for Sagittarius. Sagittarius from Art, thank you. And one more for Sagittarius, please. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Yeah. At the bottom of the deck, Sagittarius, we have coming together. It looks really, really good for you guys. For the next um, coming up two weeks in your love life. So the first card you guys have is simply love. You have dreams coming true. You have seek the truth. And you have healing begins. Okay, so I do feel like um, things are going to start to come together for you guys. I do see there is healing in your situations. You may have had some past hurts. Some things that really tore you apart. Um had you caught up in your head um really really distraught you know and and spirit is saying now is the time to seek the truth okay it's time it's time to heal from the past heartaches because you have new love coming in you need to simply love yourself so that you can love others and your dreams are about to come true okay Yep, and coming together. So I do feel like you do have a new love relationship coming in because the, the bottom of the deck is coming together. That's that's a, a relationship. Um, hold on, you guys. Sorry, guys. These kids be at the door, at the door constantly. But I love them. Okay, um, you know, you got a lot of grandbabies. So I do see love coming in for you guys. I do feel like you have been wishing for some things. You might have been going through a hard time and, and you're coming out of that. You're starting to heal from past hurts. And and because you're doing the healing, because you did the work, because you went within, because you went within yourself and, 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 and sought the truth for yourself to heal your shadow sides, to help heal your heart so that you could move forward. God is finna bless you. Spirit is finna bless you. Whoever, you know, the universe is finna bless you. With, with some of your dreams. Your dreams are coming true. So let's get into this, you guys. Okay. So this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Spirit, and Venus for August 16th through the 31st. And your love life. Okay. So what's this simply love? What's this simply love, Spirit? This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Okay, so I have the Queen of Swords. So I do feel like um, you're guarded. I feel like you're in your head a lot about um, this, this, either, okay, I don't know if you've met somebody yet or if somebody is on their way, but um, I do feel like you're in your head about starting a new relationship, period, about moving forward into anything new. Um, I feel like you've been hurt. You, you have your guard up. You have your heart maybe kind of blocked because of past hurts. Um, 
and you're only really dealing with truth and honesty. You know, if, if, if somebody's not coming at you with truth and honesty right now, you really don't have time for it. Um, but I do feel like Spirit is saying you need to let this guard down. Um, release yourself from this heartache, this prison that you have, have your heart in. You know what I'm saying? It's time to heal your heart. It's time to heal your heart so that you can receive this love that is coming in for you, okay? Um... I feel like this relationship is going to be a very productive, profitable, um, long-lasting, stable, stable relationship. Yeah. So I had the Two of Swords, and it came out in reverse. So I feel like you're no longer going to be in your head. The Spirit is saying it's time to get out of your head. It's time to release. Um, it's time to release whatever has been causing, well, whatever was causing all this turmoil in your head, okay? It is time to let go of this because it came in reverse. And, and it's time to let your guard down. What's this dream coming true, Spirit? For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for August 16th through the 31st. Thank you. Okay, yeah, so I feel like you're closing out old cycles and you're, and you're, you're finna start a new cycle here. And, and I feel like this is a new cycle of blessings coming your way because this, this is coming out for dreams coming true, Sagittarius. Um, I do feel like you have done the work on yourself. I do feel like um, there may still be some remnants of this past situation still left over that you're healing from. Um, and because you did the work, I feel like this is why, why the Spirit and God is going to bless you and your dreams are going to come true. I feel like you went within, you went within yourself, you know, you went looking for the truth. I also feel like with this, with, with this new relationship coming in, use your intuition, you'll know, you'll know what the truth is, you know what I'm saying, you'll know, follow your heart, listen to your intuition, let it guide you, seek, you know, look for the truth in people, look for, you know, let them show you. Sagittarius, and then I got the wheel, so I know you do have something very good coming your way. This is karmic. This is a new beginning. This is dreams with the with the wheel and okay, with the wheel and the world together side by side. This is this is <laughs> dreams coming true. This is having good karma. This is starting a new balance in life. This is this is getting wish fulfillment here. Okay. It looks really good, and I feel like this is I feel like this is in finances and in love right now, you guys. Um, yeah, I just got that. Like, it, like this is just not your dreams coming true in your love life. This is your dreams coming true full circle, okay? I feel like you've been putting in the work, and now, now you're finna, you know, reap the rewards. You've been doing good. You've been, you know, so the karma's coming back your way. What's to seek the truth, spirit? What's to seek the truth? And I feel like because seek the truth is a seven, you're, you're divinely guided. Seek the truth. Oh, okay. Hold on, guys. The cards are all the way on the floor. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I feel like for the seek the truth, you're still holding back. Um, you're holding back from this relationship. You're holding back from offering this ten of pentacles because you're still um, caught up in your head still about past issues, about past hurts. Um, and I feel like that's where this healing begins, comes in. Um, you may not be as completely healed as you may think you are. It may still be some residual things that you still need to deal with, Sagittarius, okay? Um, and I'm also getting that this person coming forward to you is somebody that you want to hold on to. Um, this is somebody who you are going to be able to build with, that you're going to have stability, long longevity. You're going to have generational wealth with this person, the family, the house, the kids, the dog, okay? I see you guys um, being very prosperous together. Um, I do feel like uh, to seek the truth is, is also saying, Sagittarius, you need to, to pray about this. Ask God about this, this, this new relationship coming in. Listen to your intuition. 
Listen to your heart. Follow your heart with this. I feel like this is something that you really need to hold on to. But for this to work, you have to make sure that you are healed from the from past issues, okay? What's this healing begin, spirit? But yeah, I do see something really great coming together for you. A really nice soulmate type relationship. Yeah, healing begins. And I feel like you still have some choices and options here, okay? Um... You may have more than one person to choose from, Sagittarius. So I do feel like Spirit is saying, use your intuition. Listen to your heart. Go by what, what you see. You know what I'm saying? Not just what, what you hear, you know? Yeah. The person, this person could possibly be a water sign. But um, I do feel like you are, this is your energy as well, Sagittarius. I feel like you have emotions and feelings, but you're not really showing them for you. For, for, you're not showing them on the outside. So, I do feel like if this person is already coming to your life, Sagittarius, you've been holding back because of past issues, okay? Um, I do feel like you guys can have something good here. You could have a new cycle here. You could have, um, a long-lasting relationship, something worth holding on to, but you're still confused. You still are caught up in your head. Um, you're holding back your emotions and your feelings, because of this past relationship, don't miss out on something good because you aren't quite healed yet. Are you are you still caught up? You're not trying to do the work to heal. Okay? Now, for those of you who are working on healing, I do feel like the new person is on their way. Yes, this person is on their way and they're going to work with you. They want to build with you. Um, they want to put into you, okay? But I do feel like... Um, yeah, Ace of Swords, you're all in your head right now. But there is a new beginning coming here for you. Um, and I do feel like you need to speak your truth. You know what I'm saying? And maybe this person wants to speak some truth to you as well. Seek the truth, okay? Seek the knowledge. Listen to your intuition. You know, listen. Listen, listen to your intuition. Listen to your gut. You know, that feeling, you know. And pay attention, okay, Sagittarius? So until next time, thank you again for tuning in to another episode of Tea and Tarot with Tanya. I am available for personals, um, and donations are always welcome. The information is down below for both of those. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. The more you like, the more people can get to see the video. Um, and if it resonated with you, please subscribe. Hit the little bell at, on the side and it'll notify you when I put up new videos. And until next time, love, light, and peace, you guys.